Howdy Archie fans, Dennis here. I wanted to show you uh, something that I've been doing with the takedown bow that I made. Um, added a bow fishing um, setup to it. Basically, two main components are I put a an arrow rest which I just took a, a brass bushing and with some spacers put it on a grinding wheel and ground a, a U cut into it. This is going to be similar to the wave arrow rest that they use in bow fishing and with some other spacers acts like a bearing you know the bushing spins on here I drilled a, a hole in the riser and, and put a threaded insert there so I could secure that with a screw. I used the same size that I used on the on the on the limb bolts. It's a quarter inch by twenty eight, I believe it was. And I also did the same thing on the riser in the front here, where you would put a stabilizer. I have a piece of quarter inch all thread um, and a piece of three quarter inch PVC pipe secured a, a fishing reel um, started first with just some fishing line wound up on the on the pipe and I had some uh, spider wire 50 pound test line and it actually did work um, but it's kind of a pain to have to wind it up by hand each time but it did work um, when I added the fishing reel and then the actual bow fishing line this is I think 120 pound test bow fishing line which you can buy it I bought it at Academy Sports I imagine other sporting goods stores carry it um, I had to buy a large capacity fishing reel that would hold it because this stuff takes up a lot of room and this is only about 20 yards on here and it, and it filled the spool. Let's see, uh, the other thing, first uh, I experimented with some different arrows. You can use a carbon arrow or aluminum arrow but um, they tend to not penetrate in the water as well as these fiberglass arrows. But whatever kind of arrow you use, you want to have a slide mechanism so that when you shoot this, your line is out at the front. Otherwise, the recoil on this line, the shock on the line, causes it to, to loop and it can catch the bow, the reel, uh, your your hand, or whatever is available. You can have some violent uh, reactions when when the line catches here and then the arrow is, is trying to go out and suddenly stops. You can break stuff that way. So for safety purposes, and also you could have the arrow kick back and hit you with the with the bow with the uh, the broadhead or the fish fishing um, head on there. What's nice about these? Uh, I bought this arrow. I got a couple of them with with the point installed, and it was only like six bucks. You can take the the barb out, which comes in handy when you're removing it from a fish, but also for target practice. It, you just take the barb out, screw it back in. And now you're ready for, for target practice. So you definitely don't want to be shooting a, a barbed arrow into your target. Um, some of you may recall I had two sets of limbs on this bow. I've used the, um, the shorter limbs for a little more power. I found that because of the drag on the arrow with the line, it does create a little bit of drag. Um, it did better with the, with the, uh, the stronger limbs, the shorter 
faster ones. So I'm going to go ahead and attempt to demonstrate this to you. Um, keep in mind, most of your bow fishing uh, shots are going to be very close range. You know, 10 feet, 12 feet, or less even. Sometimes you'd be, you know, five or six feet away from the fish. So it doesn't have to, you know, fly a long distance. Um, and there are, you can spend a hundred dollars and get a nice AMS bow fishing reel that has almost zero drag. Those things are really nice, but I didn't want to put that kind of money into this. This is just something I wanted to try out. And, uh, I did take a few shots at, at some fish last night, but uh, they were pretty small, and I, so far I haven't hit any. So, of course, you have to aim lower than where, where it looks like the fish is because of the, the refraction from the water. Changing the, the angle of what you see is not really where the fish is, so keep that in mind. Aim below them three or four inches or so. All right. Uh, I think I've covered everything. Again, I put a drill the hole, put inserts in, in the front and in the side for the rest. The arrow is a fiberglass arrow, which you can buy with a slide, or I bought a, a kit that had two slides in it um, so that I could set up two arrows. Uh, it also comes with the stop. So that you know the arrow, the slide stops against this, and, and it has some sort of a little cushion device to, to help absorb the shock. So I think it's working pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Let me see if I can give you a demonstration here. Hopefully, you can see. There we go. Take up some of this line here. One thing I've been doing is making sure my, my my lever is in the back position to give the string less of an opportunity to grab onto it. So whenever I shoot, make sure the lever is back. And so far that seems to be working. I haven't had it. Since I've been doing that, I haven't had the string grab it. All right, the other thing I did is... The other thing I did is I added a, a swivel on the line. Because reeling the line in, it would twist. So this helps to prevent the twisting of the line. But you don't want to have a snap swivel. I tried that first. And if you have the line gets snagged or, or catches or something, It'll, it'll just bend that swivel and, and rip it right off and you'll lose your arrow. So, I've got just a swivel tied on and then I made a little, um, like a little short harness on the swivel that, that I just looped into this swivel, which I can change this out and in, in, insert another arrow if this arrow becomes damaged. So. 